In today's video, I'm gonna show you the pro's secret settings to boost FPS, increase performance, and lower input delay on any PC and laptop. So, if you're new here hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Beerup Booster is one of the best pro for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. So the first thing we want to actually do is go to an open Fortnite. Make sure that Fortnite is open in the background and then you want to go and right click down here on the taskbar and go to task manager. Then you should see something like this. Now once you are here, you want to go and go into details in the task manager. Then scroll down until you find the Fortnite client one. 60 for shipping.x file. If you don't have Fortnite running, you're not gonna see it. But yeah, once you go ahead and find and it. go ahead and press on set. As you can see, which processors allowed to run? Fortnite 164, shipping.x. Now here you want to make sure that you uncheck CPU0. This is really important. And it's gonna boost your FPS a whole lot. As you can see, I do have 12 threads. But we're gonna go ahead and uncheck the CPU0 and press OK in here. Once you're near also, you want to right click again and then go into Set Priority. And make sure that Set Priority is on high. Which is basically the highest one. Which is gonna get you the highest FPS possible weight. Once you do that, you wanna actually restart Fortnite before actually opening. But let's go ahead and finish all of the other settings for you guys to get the highest FPS possible. So, before I actually restarting your PC, you want to go ahead and go into the GeForce and video experience. If you don't have it downloaded, make sure to download it from the web. That is really important in here. You want to make sure that the drivers are up to date. Once you make sure for that, as you just best, check for updates. Really easy. And it's gonna show the you. latest driver. Make sure to download that weight. Once you finish that, you wanna go into settings. And these are the settings that are actually gonna boost FPS. You want to make sure that in game, overlay is turned off if you're having FPS issues now. If you are actually recording with NBA GeForce Experience, you want to make sure this is on or it will not record anymore. That's why I have it on. But yeah, then you want to go into image scaling. And here in image scaling, you want to make sure to turn this on if you're having a lot of FPS jobs. So as you can see, so when you turn this on, your screen might might just like flash for a little bit and then come back. As you can see here, we have the render resolution. You can on 59, 67, 77 or 85%. And this depends on your BC. If you have a really good BC, then keep it on 85. And if you're getting a lot of FPS drops, make sure to try all of the other ones. See which one is best. And here and sharpen. You want to make sure that it is not on 100, cause 100 is gonna be really, really sharp. And also depending on which one you choose. If she choose the 59%, then you can higher it up to 85. And if you choose the 85%, then make sure to lower it down to about 65. But yeah, once you change all of that, make sure that reward is available is turned off in here. And once you finish that, we're gonna go and move on to the next setting, which is really, really important, and it's gonna lower your infidelity. So, you want to go and download an app called GPU Tweak 3. So go to my website and download this program from here. And follow me for settings. As you can see, this app shows you everything. The GPU temp, clock the power, GPU fast speed, and the memory clock. So, you want to go first onto the home. Tab in here. Make sure that the power target is on 100%. Then you want to go ahead and go in. GPU fan speed. This is really important and you're actually gonna see it in your PC every time you hire it. Your fans are gonna go faster. So here you want to make sure to put it about 65 to 70% to get the lower. GP temperature. The lower your GPTM temperature is, the higher FPS is gonna be and the less FPS subs you're gonna so get. So make sure this is 65 to 70% now. Once you're done here. You want to go and go scroll down. You might not see them at first, but you want to scroll down to the bottom and see the GPU temp target. And as you see, can, I have it here on 75 degrees and I have it on minus eight. So it was 83 before and I change it to 75. You want to make sure that it is 75 or less to get the highest FPS possible and lowest input delay in your game. As the higher your GPU temp is, the more FPS structure you're gonna so, get. So, you want to make sure this or 75 degrees or lower. That is why I have it on 75 and you can even put it down to 70. That might work your fans a lot. So, you don't want to overwork them, but just put it on 75 degrees and you'll be. Now for framework target, I have it on 500 FPS to get the highest FPS possible in game and yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you want to press apply in here. Once you change up all of the settings and you have to minimize this. So don't close it up where you got too much for this video. I hope this video helped and if it did, please make sure to like and subscribe to this one. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.